We are on the Himaway Cruiser and we're gonna do a little trail riding. Actually, for this, this video, we're gonna do all kinds of terrain testing, okay? So, we're in gear four. We're gonna do a little terrain testing here. There's a teeny bit of a rubbing um, of my front brake and that's because the brake pads are really close together. And I'm talking to him away about how to widen that gap, but I haven't quite figured it out yet. So there's a teeny bit of rubbing going on. So if you hear that, that's what's happening. So we're gonna shift up to, deer, to pedal assist <laughs> three, four, and we're gonna see if we can make our way through this little dirt trail a little bit. See what's going on. All right. So this is a nice little trail. It's got a little bit of bumps. Wouldn't call it full off-road, but it's got some rocks. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do trails. We're gonna do um, grass. We're gonna do um, sand. And we're gonna do some mulch. And we're gonna do some gravel. Okay, so this video is gonna have all that. So. Bear with me. I'm making my way through all these different terrains. You can see here that this, uh, you know, has some divots, some rocks, but it, overall it's a pretty smooth trail. So we won't really call this full off road. We'll just call it trail ride. Pretty smooth, I will say. It's got some nice little bounce to it. Oh man, are we gonna go down this? Yeah, I guess we are. Hopefully we can go back up. Otherwise we've got to find another way out. So yeah, not really feeling the bumps too bad. Big tires definitely do their job. Again, we're in pedal assist two. Just trying to keep it modest so I don't have to use all the power. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to see what capabilities we can get out of like pedal assist two and one, etc. All right. We're not going to go too much further on this terrain because we're going to shift to some other terrains. But maybe I'll just go up this little hill and back. So we got some, some rocks and stuff. Here's a little bit more aggressive people. Oh boy. Okay, that was that was briefly off-road. True off-road. Handled it pretty well. So I would definitely get a suspension seat. Oh man, cactus. Look at that cactus. Definitely get a suspension seat, no question. Just help you out in so many ways, you know? All right, we got some serious off-roading going on here, people. Oh my God, I gotta downshift a little bit. Okay, we're in gear two. Oh my God, cactus everywhere. All right, we're not going any farther. I don't know if you can see but like mega cactus mega hill and that's not really what we're all about today so we're gonna go back down all right huh. all right we're definitely testing out these brakes these shocks and uh, these tires oh boy yeah, I don't like advise going in like some aggressive terrain like this. This is more like a flat tire road type bike. But, you know, it is going off that without saying or I'll say it anyway that I'm handling it. I just don't know that this bike is really meant for that, you know? You might be putting it through. And you might be beating it up too much. Oh boy. Jesus Christ. So yeah, we got some mega rocks and divots and but not there. So yeah, again, sorry about that uh, little bit of rubbing going on. I was actually on the phone with him away last night for like an hour. One of their techs in China, actually. And uh, he kept telling me what to do to fix that and it just kept not working. So I'm not really a tech guru but I imagine I could take it to a bike shop and they could fix it in like three minutes. So just ignore that grinding, if you will. 
as I am. All right. Nice hill climbing capability. I was in uh, pedal assist three. We went up that no problem. So. All right. Let's try and get out of here if I can remember how to do that. Oh, what is that? Hold on, people. Oh, God. I think something just fell. Yeah. This is the little piece that holds the brake rotor in place. Let's see if I can make this visible for you. This thing right here. It holds the brake rotor, the brake pad in. So let me tighten that a little bit here. You can actually adjust the distance between your brake pads by this little silver silver thing right here okay uh, it even says like in and out I like to rotate it one direction and then the, the rotors or the brake pads are getting closer together hence in rotate it the other way they're getting further apart hence out I think I got it tight enough for now oh, so I was messing with that Last night, to try to get the uh, brake pads further apart so they wouldn't grind, but again, it didn't quite work. So, anyway, yeah, now they're grinding a little bit more. It's all right. Bike still works fine. So again, I'm just testing this bike, so I'm just trying to get its capabilities. I'm not terribly worried if there's a little you know issue here and there i'm just trying to get see what this bike can do you know all right i will say that the, the suspension forks definitely handle the bumps really well especially when you're out of the seat and you're kind of leaning forward so yeah that was a nice successful little i'm gonna call it off-road off-road adventure okay oh boy all right now We did it, people. Now, a little football game going on over there. That's actually the Rams practice facility, but I don't know if those are Rams. Maybe they are. Yeah, I think they are. They have like Rams helmets on and stuff. Yeah, yeah, That's the Rams practice facility. Rams players, isn't that cool? All right, so, a um, little bit of more of a tight packed trail right here for you. And then I'm gonna go into some other terrain. Try to find some gravel. See, that's the Rams practice facility. I've actually been in there a couple times, and one time I got thrown out. Security guard was kind of like Paul Blart, mall cop. He was, he was upset. And I was like, I don't see any signs that say keep out, you know? Maybe you guys need those. Okay, so now we're gonna go through a little bit of gravel. Okay, this is kind of some loose gravel. This thing's handling it like a champ. Look at this. I can carve back and forth. No slippage. Not bad. Okay. Now we're going to go through some bark. You know, mulch. This thing handles it like a champ also. I mean, you can carve and turn and it pulls you right through, you know. So yeah, this thing's got some capabilities. All right, let's see what else. try this too this is another uh kind of loose sand dirt path that actually leads to some rock some bigger rocks so we'll we'll add that terrain as well all right so now we've got some serious gravel these are some pretty decent sized rocks and uh here we're testing pull through your carving capabilities and uh comfort Overall, so far, so good. I'm doing the swerving just so you can see how it 
Okay, this is really loose gravel here, people. You can see it's handling it pretty well, you know? I can actually turn, no slipping, pulling me right through. Isn't that cool? So, nice. Nicely done. So, so far, so good, people. A little bit of more mulch for you. Kind of just glides over everything, you know? Again, right, you know, seamlessly into some loose sand, dirt. Um, you know, this thing is kind of like a hybrid dual sport. Have you ever heard of like a motorcycle dual sport that has knobby tires like this and you can go on different terrains seamlessly? That's kind of what this is, you know? Multi-terrain. I'm gonna show you guys the Ram practice facility sign. See? Right there, Rams. See it? See the Rams? That's the Rams practice facility. Anyway. All right, I gotta fix this goddamn brake. It's pissing me off. Oh. I gotta... exactly sure what I wanna do here, but... Loosen that in there. Yeah, I can tell that's like... All right, we're back. Still a little bit of grinding, but... All right. All right. So now, what are we gonna try? We're gonna kind of zip around. We're at a little university here. We're gonna see what kind of train we can find. Okay. I think I gotta loosen that cable so it completely disengages the front brake. That way there's no rubbing until I can get it fixed. All right. We are zip zooming, people. Where to next? Nice little speed bump for you. Bam, bam. Okay. Let's just see what's over here. Just trying out all kinds of different terrains here. So this is again like a little, little sand, like some loose sand and some, some tightly packed sand and some loose rocks. Just kind of all different terrains around here. That's why I brought the bike. You can just see it performing all different ways. We're just finding ways around. All right, so this doesn't take you really anywhere. That's fine. All right. <clears throat> All right. We're gonna find some grass. And we're gonna find some sand. I actually know of a sand volleyball court right near here. Right near here that uh, we can hit. That'll uh, let us go through that. I've never, in like 50 times being here, seen anybody use it. So I don't feel that bad about riding through it real quick. I mean, we're not really messing it up anyway. All right, I'm gonna pedal this one. There's a little bridge over here that you take. I think I fixed the grinding for now. Anyhow, anybody in Southern California that wants to buy this bike, let me know. I'm gonna sell it for a really good price. Uh, just needs that little brake issue adjusted. And uh, everything else is all brand spanking new. I've only gone 76 miles on this thing. All right. So here's some grass for you. Yeah. Pulling through this grass like no problem. It's honestly like not much different than the street. I mean, you don't feel any kind of slippage, any kind of, you know, impedance to your, uh, your uh, movement, you know, it's like it's not slowing you down really much at all. And uh, yeah, it's overall pretty good in the, in the grass. Okay, over here we got a bridge that we cannot cross. I guess we gotta go back up. All right. 
trying to get to that sand port, which I know is coming up here in a minute. Handicap ramp. Hopefully, there's nobody coming. So we've done dirt. We've done kind of loose dirt, tight pack dirt. We've done grass. We've done small pebble. God damn it! Small pebble gravel, big pebble gravel, and now. We're going to do some sand, wherever the hell that is. Oh, I know where it is. Gots to go back. All right, found the sand court. Again, never seen a person playing volleyball here. So do I advise doing this? No, this is a scientific test and we have to go through the sand, okay? So just watch this. No problem, people, look at that. Teeny little bit of slippage at the beginning, but we just rode through some, some really thick, loose, Beach volleyball sand. Did you guys see that? I'll try it one more time. This is without any momentum, really. Yeah, just pulls you right through. You see that? Wow. Very impressive. So there you have it, people. Terrain testing. Hopefully you found that valuable. Hopefully you got some insight out of that hopefully it helps you understand the capabilities of this bike and uh, we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching god bless peace out don't forget to subscribe